As the new principal Raila Odinga seems to be unrelenting in his quest to unmask what he believes is a mega scandal in the government-to-government -government oil deal, despite President William Root on Sunday clearing the air that the deal is not shrouded in secrecy. Show us documents indicating when the payment was made in Kenya shillings, the bank account, and the recipients of the payment. This must be documents signed by a representative of the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The push has now intensified with calls for two cabinet secretaries believed to be in the middle of the alleged scandal to be suspended. The CS for Energy and Petroleum, Mr. Churchill, and National Treasury, CS, Njuguna Ndungu, have certainly committed criminal offenses, abused office, and guns against the Constitution. They stole money from the Consolidated Fund in addition to spending money way above what Parliament approved. They must not only resign, they must also be prosecuted. The former Premier is also appearing to back claims by Busia Senator Okio Mtata of a regular withdrawal of billions of shillings without Parliament approval. The Nigeri is the private financial enterprises funded by the Kenya shillings 17 billion illegally from the consolidated fund and received by the Ministry of Petroleum and Mining. The three oil marketing companies which issued a joint statement clarifying on what the deal entailed with the National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Shungwa also coming under fire. Apparently, you have reached a situation where oil marketing companies, all with shady histories, feel confident and compelled to answer Kenyans when Kenyans seek answers from their government. The cartels speak for the government and the government speaks for the uh, cartels. Do these and the three key institutions have been tasked with explaining to Kenyans what transpired in the dealing, more specifically the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, to break his silence on the alleged scam? Since the appointment, the Auditor General, CPA, Nancy Gadungu has displayed courage in her approach to duty. We are calling upon her to execute her mandate in this matter and investigate the following. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission have been silent over the goings on in the petroleum sector. Allegations of corruption, collusion and conflict of interest have been made but no investigations have begun. Joel, such a K24 TV, Nairobi.